Все у нас там имеет банда, банда имеет ахенда. Все сознаем. Все мы там всех позовем. Спасибо. Всех ты сознаем. So much fun to learn it over quickly. Всех ты сахи хабан тайм. So it's so good just to read it through quickly. Was that the juice of some vegetables? Yeah, probably by coffee tree. Okay, we're gonna start. Mem Amidale, the Mishnah. Mishnah says, "Berachal Pirus Elon." Someone says a bracha over a fruit from the tree. Very priyadam. Aha, says the wrong bracha. Says a very priyadam. Run it, Mar. Yatsa. He he uh he fulfills his obligation. Go ahead, please. Just well, here is our let's say that. Let's say he said he said a uh, he ate over a vegetable. So lo yatsa, he's not yatsa. Al kulam and mama shahakoni a bivari, and on all of them. Well, if he says um, the shahakal bracha, then he is yaisa on anything. It's normal to say parasar? Uh, as opposed to adama? What was our original expression? We said parasar, it's very pre adama. Okay. Yeah, we switch, but I know. Okay. One is supposed to be clearer in, in the in Tanakh. So we're trying to use the, the Lushan and the Tanakh for the brachas. Then we use the regular language. So Peris Aretz is the regular language. And then we say in the bracha, Pri Adama. Pri Adama. Okay. The Gemara says like this. Mantana Ilan Arahu. I'm sorry. Mantana the Iker Ilan Arahu. Who's the, the one that holds that the main part of the tree, uh, that of the main source of the tree is the ground? You know, like where, do, where does it actually grow from? Does it grow from the ground or does it grow from the tree? Who's the one that says that it grows from the ground? And that's why if you say the bracha on the ground, Priha Adama, you're Yitzha for the tree. The Nachum Yitzchak says, Rabbi Yehuda, it's the opinion of Rabbi Yehuda, the Tanan, he quotes a Mishnah regarding Bikurim. When someone brings Bikurim, the first fruits, he has to recite a certain passage. And in that passage, he says that he's thanking Hashem for the land that you have given me. But if the person doesn't own land, then there's a problem there. So what happens here? It says Yavish Amayan Let's say he grew the fruit, but his spring dried up and his tree was cut down. It says maybe he brings the Bikurim Veinakur, but he can't say the land that you gave me because he doesn't have the tree anymore. And he's bringing the fruits from the tree. Rabbi Hudaimer Mayhu Vikar Rabbi says no. He has the ground. And that's good enough. I know this is an old question, but does hydroponics change the book at all? Um, probably yes, but it's not a halakhic Okay, um, it, it would be odd. Well, Make a shahakal on it. Tomato. <laughs> okay, I mean, this is maybe clear. What do we see? That the main thing is the ground, the earth under, under the tree. That's the main thing. Al peris aretz. Someone says a adama. No, someone says a haetz on peris aretz. On, uh, on vegetables, so he's not yaitza. He works for one second. It's obvious. See, so that's obvious. It's not a fruit of the tree. It's not a fruit of the tree. You said Adama, you said a eight on a, on a, on a, on a, a potato. Of course, it's not a, you're not yaitza. I'm Rav Nachum by Yitzchak, Le Nitzchak. But they joke about the, this guy gets the bracha under the chuppah, he's holding the cup of wine. He says, Baruch Hashem, I'm very pleased. I said, no, no, what, what do you think? This is why I thought it was a potato. I don't know. It's supposed to be a joke because he messed for someone that messes up the second time as well. That's the. That's the <laughs> okay. Okay. Is a potatoes, a potato's not how it's either. That is, that's not. Okay. Oh. So here he said, I ate on a, on a potato. So. So uh, that's obvious he's not the answer. 
It says, Lay Nitzchel or Rabbi Huda. No, we have an opinion. Rabbi Huda holds Amr Chita Min Ilani. It's a uh, wheat is a type of tree. So here we have something to discuss. Oh, is it? Is it the thing about if you don't, if you have a, like a, if you have a Vegetable or thing, you know, so like when you lose, you say, I don't want to do that thing. Because, uh, yeah, sing it because the tree itself yeah. is. I'm not, I'm not going to write, right? We're going to have that later. We're going to have that later. So here he's making a mistake, though. And here we have a wheat. Let's say wheat is an opinion that says wheat is a type of tree. And nevertheless, we're going to say that he's not going to be, he's not going to be yaitzah. He says her eights on it. Titania was starting a brisa. Ilan shachol meno adam rishon. What's the, the tree of knowledge that other rishon ate from? That his wife served him. Reb Meir, I'm Reb Meir says gefanaya. It was great. Shein mechadavish maybe yilal al adam alayayin. There's nothing that brings more wailing onto a person than wine. Remember vayish min ayayin vayishka. He drank from the wine and he got drunk. That's probably referring to noyach. Reb Nechemi, I'm Reb Nechemi says no. He says Teina. I said it was a fig. Shabbatavish and Neskalkalu by by Nesakmi. Neskalu by Nesakmi. And the thing that they were cursed with that's what they, that's a, how they fixed it because they used fig leaves to get dressed afterwards. The fig has that nice leaf, you know, like a hand. Um, big leaf. Remember the Yitzbarale Teina that they put together uh, the leaves of the fig of the fig tree to get dressed. They realized they were naked. It must have been the tree that caused the problem is the one that fixed it. Rabbi Yudai Merchita Haisa. Rabbi Yudai says it was weak. Shein Atina Kidei Lekris Abba Ve'ima. In the Siddhas, he says Abba Abba. He's not able to call his mother and his father to say, to say, Daddy. Ad Shiyatim Tam Dagan until he tastes grain. So. No, but it means is what did we? How did they get the knowledge? What's a tree of knowledge? This is wheat is something that gives knowledge to, to the children that they're able to then uh, to then uh, talk. They're able to express themselves after they eat grain. He holds that it's a tree. So, Salkadai Chamina, I could have entered the mind to say, Wheat is a tree. So, you can say, I ate on it. Kamash Malan comes to tell us that no, when, on what type of fruits get a hayat? This is if you take off the fruit, you still have the trunk, or the gavza is probably the branch. Okay. The mafik, and the branch will still give off the fruits. But if you take off the fruit, less of the gavza, you don't have the branch anymore. The other mafik to give off, let's say, um, if you eat the thing itself, or um, uh, if it's, uh, if it's uh, not a, a, a perennial. Right, if you have to plant it every year, so that would be and you have to say Adam on it. So the banana is the shaila because you take off the fruit and that trunk doesn't grow again anymore. So from this, it should be the Adama. The problem is, is that it really does grow again. The roots come up in a new, uh, a new stock. The question is if that's counted, if it grows back. If it grows back from the roots, you don't have to replant it if that's considered a uh, say Okay. So we have a chiddush here that you said her eights on a vegetable and you're not the eights. It seemed obvious. So no, it's a type of vegetable that's also called a tree. Chita, you're still not the Falkulam. The mama shakal full on everything. If you said shakal, you're gonna be you're gonna be yaitzer. It's mar. There's a statement of Amiran. Rav Huna, Amar. Rav Huna says chutz mina pas mina yayin. There's an exception to the, what the Mishnah is saying. The Mishnah said shakal fits works for anything. Doesn't work for bread or wine. 
says no. Mishnah says it works. It works even for bread and wine. Name a katana. Let us say that this is an earlier machlaikis. Listen to this. This is from the Tesefta. It says, Ra pas. If someone sees bread, Wow, how nice this bread is. Blessed is Hashem that created this bread. Yatza, he said a bracha already. It sounds like by the Seder, if a child is like, says uh, certain things. So the Gemara says, Oh, Pachrani Milaymar Manishtana. I've been exempt from saying Manishtana because you asked, you know, Daddy, why are you sitting like that? Why are you reclining? Because, oh, I, now I don't have to say the Bracha, the Manishtana. So here, he said, uh, with the Yetzirah Bracha, he said, How nice this bread is. Blessed is Hashem. So if he sees a fig, he says, Oh, well, what a nice fig. Baruch HaMakim Shabara. Blessed is Hashem that created it. Yatza. He doesn't have to say a Bracha. Give her a mayor. Who's saying that? Because what else? This is the, um, it's called Stamad Tamuda, which is the, uh, just the yeshiva. The yeshiva, it doesn't have that, it's anonymous, it is the, the, the students are discussing. Let us say that this statement of Rav Huna and Rav Hizda and Rav Yechanan, I'm sorry, is really an earlier machlek of that we know from the Tisha. So do that usually they don't like. This is really a problem. Usually they don't like to do this because they don't like when later on their own come along and tell us the same thing that earlier scholars said without attributing it to them. So they don't want it to be like that. They rather say that they're both accepting one opinion and in that opinion they're arguing what he holds about the following thing. That's how they like to conclude this thing. So that's the words of Reb Meir. Reb Yesi says, Kala Meshanim and Lech Be'ashit HaVacham Mebrachas L'Yetzi Yedei Shabbasit. Yesi says, if you change the coinage, the mint of the brachas that the sages instituted, you don't fulfill the obligation. You can't start making up your own uh, language for brachas. You don't, that's, it's like, it's like minted, you know, coin. That's how you have to do, say it. That's the term, coin. Neymar, Ravuna, the Amar Kerab Yaisi, Rav Yechanan, the Amar Kerab Ravuna that says, except for wine and bread, he goes like Rav Yaisi because you're not allowed to switch things. And we have a special bracha for wine, hagafen. We have a special bracha for bread, hamaitzi. And you went along and you switched it. Rabbi Yaisi says you changed the coinage of the of the bracha. And Rabbi Yechanan that says it doesn't matter. He goes like Rabbi Meir. He says you could even just say, oh, you know, uh, hip hip hooray or whatever. And you said, you uh, yaitzed the bracha. Okay. So Gemara says, I'm a Ravuna. Ravuna could tell you, I know Adam Yafilu Rabbi Meir. I could go like both. Rabbi Meir. That says that you yaitza, even if you just say whatever uh, any formula, the yaitza, he would agree with me Rabbi, that by bread it doesn't work. Rabbi Yochanan didn't say that you could say anything. He said that shahakal shahakal would, would be, which right. is already also a coin to bracha. You're thinking like the Gemara. Wow. You'll see. You'll see in a second. Wow. Wow. It's it's finally happened. So much. <laughs> So much Gemara, it's starting to... Okay, so I'd kind of like come... First, let's work with Rafuna. Rafuna is saying that Rameya could fit with him. Rameya that says that any any sort of formula of the bracha works could fit with Rafuna that says that bread and wine, you, you can't even say a shakal on. Wow, how's that going to work? It says, I'd kind of like Rameya Hasam Aleichem become Mitkash made the past. Look, over there, he mentioned bread. He said, oh, what nice bread. Blessed is Hashem that, that made this. Uh, so... So um, so he said bread, he specified it. The bread, something special about the bread. So that's why the mayor says he ate it. But it, when it comes to saying a shahakal, where you don't say, because you just said shahakal, you didn't mention bread. You just said everything. That you can't do. You need to be specific when it comes to bread. I feel the mayor, the mayor would agree that you're not ate it. Very interesting. Rabbi Yechanan, he says, that it applies to bread. Shahakal would work with the bread and bread and wine. He says, I could go like Rabbi Yaisi that says you're not allowed to switch anything. Why? Because, which means Rabbi Yaisi could go like me. He says, mm-hmm. When Rabbi Yaisi only said it over there that it doesn't work, because you made up your own formula of the bracha. 
But if you say a shahakal, that is a formula that the sages instituted. It's a pinarabanan. They instituted this. It's a pillar of Yesu. Rabbi Yesu would agree. Interesting Svaras. <coughs> Tesis again repeats himself. He says that if you have a machlekes, Rabbi Yeshanan or Rambuda, we're going to pass him like Rabbi Yeshanan, because Rabbi Yeshanan, you would pass him like Rabbi Yeshanan even if you'd be arguing with Rab, which is Rabbi Yeshanan's teacher. So here, uh, you'll be Yetzir Shehakal, Tesis says, even on bread and wine. Minyamin Raya, Minyamin, I guess the shepherd, Karach Rifta, he wrapped his bread, and he said, Rich Mari the High Pita. Remember this? He said, he said this again. So, blessed is the master of this bread. Yeah, for Rich Tamasi. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Rav, a funny story. Rav said, <laughs> Yatsa. He, he's Yatsa. It's a word. Before or before? Um, it's really, it's Just referring one. to the, well, soon we're going to see it's referring to the first bracha of Rech Samaz. One second. Vama Rav, what Rav says, Kol bracha Hashem Baskar is Hashem in a bracha. Rav says, if you don't say Hashem's name, it's not a bracha. So he says, so we, we resolve it. He, he didn't say that. We left that, left that a word. The Omar, he says, Rich Rachmana Maridahiti. Blessed is Hashem, the master of this bread. How's he Yaitse? He didn't say the three blessings of Brich Samazan. Ma Yatsa the Kamarav, what did Rav mean? Nami Yatsa Yidde Bracha Rishaina. He was Yaitse the first bracha, the bracha of Hazan. First bracha, but he still has to say Naida Lacha, Yalakal, Rachem, you know, the rest of the bracha. Oh, Birch Sazan. Yeah, Bracha Rishaina, Rashi says, means Birch Sazan, the first bracha. The first bracha of Bench. So if he said, Rubber Dub Dub, thanks for the grub, you'd be left with that. The first bracha, the first bracha could be. Could be. The friend that's a shliach, he's a shliach in Oregon. So um, we had over here a rabbi that was, uh, I forget what, what denomination, renewal, like the one that's a rabbi. Anyway, my friend's father is a, is a mashpia, what is it? Uh, uh, so, um, this renewal re rabbi said, came to bench and he said, Brich Rachmana, um, this bench. So, uh, his father says, um, that's what babies say. So, the rabbi says, we're all babies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good answer. So, my Kamash Malan, what's the Chiddush over here? That he ate only the first bracha. He says, Afa Gav Damar Balashim Chal. You want to say that the Chiddush is that he said it in English? In your time, Aramaic. That's what you want to say, that you can bench in Aramaic. So the Tanina, that I know from other places that you can bench in Aramaic. They will know, it's, we quote the Mishnah in the Saita. Elu Namar Bachal Lashim. These are the following could be said in any language. Parsha Saita. The section that's read by the Saita, when the Kayan makes her swear, Vidoy Maisa. What's it, what we say after we, I guess in the third year, of, uh, when we take out all the mice, um, we say that we've done it all. We can say that all even in other languages. Kriya Shema, Tfila, Davening, you can say it in other languages. So what's the problem? It's, it's, it's true. No, it's necessary. Sal, could I come in and enter your mind to say, Hani Mili, when do we say that it works? Dumra Balashan Khal, it works if you say it in another language. You have to say it exactly the way it was said in Hebrew. But if you change the, the formula of the language and you say it in different words, it's not an exact translation. It's a concept, but you don't say it exactly as a translation. A Malay say, we'll say maybe that you're not Malan that you even if you don't keep the formula exactly. 
you just say it um, what the concept is. There's an interesting chuva from Rabbi Kivega. He's writing about um, Moses uh, Mendelssohn uh, made a chumash, he also made a siddur. And he's writing about using um, the Mendelssohn siddur. Can you use the siddur? He says that you shouldn't use it because he doesn't translate the Shema exactly in order. And we've learned that the Shema needs to be said in order. You say it in the Freya, you say it out of order, it doesn't work. That's why we have the expression, hear, O Israel. We don't say Israel, listen, because it has to be Shema Israel. You have to say actually word for word the way it is in order, and that's when it comes to the Shema. Other prayers could be said different types of meaning. Okay. Gufa, we learned before, Amar Rav, Rav says, Kol bracha shem baskar sashem in a bracha. Any bracha in the Chabad said, I, I, I started looking to it. I think it's, it's uh, careful to have the translation in the order. Rav says that any bracha that doesn't have Hashem's name is not a bracha, but Rabbi Yechanan Amar, Rabbi Yechanan is more strict. He says, Kol bracha, shem b'malcha, saying a bracha. Any bracha that doesn't have kingdom, melech ha'elam, is not a bracha. Amar Abaya, Abaya says, Kavasei the Rav Mestabra. It makes sense, Rav. The Tanya, Shtot Nebraisa, Le'yavart Mitzvisecha Le'yishachachti, um, this is by the Bikurim, right? I uh, did not <coughs> violate the mitzvahs and I did not forget. This is, he's talking about when he separated, no, this is by the Vidim Meiser, when he's um, saying that he, he kept all the, he fulfilled all the laws of Trumas and Meiser. He says, Le'yavarti mi levarich. I did not violate from saying the blessing before I took the Misa. And I didn't forget to mention your name. But it doesn't say Malchus. Which means, like Rab says, that you only have to mention the name of Hashem, not like Rabbi Yechanan. Rabbi Yechanan says, I'm sorry. Rabbi Yechanan. Rabbi Yechanan Tani. Rabbi Yechanan Tani. Rabbi Yechanan Tani. He taught that Brisa. You mention your name or or Malchus or Melachayla. Okay, so he adjusted it to fit with his opinion. And that's how he learned it. Al Davershain Gidul, they have a new Mishnah. Al Davershain Gidul in something that doesn't go from the ground. We're going to learn what it means that doesn't get its nourishment from the ground. Aimer, he says, Shakon Yabitvari. That's the bracha that you say for something that doesn't get its nourishment from the ground. Al Chaimetz. On vinegar, falanoivles. <laughs> this is a type of spoiled dates. We'll see soon. Falagivayan on locusts. Aimer shakol niyabedvari. Say shahakol. Rabbi Yudai Aimer. In case you wanted to know. <laughs> when I was a kid, someone did a trick on me. They had this squiggly um, chocolate. It was like squiggly chocolate. So. It's in Yeshiva, so another bracha. So he says, take, take some. So I said, what bracha is it? Warm. He says, it's shahakal, don't worry, it's shahakal. <laughs> so I said, shahakal, I, I, what, what is this? I had chocolate on top, you know. It's, uh, it's, uh, he goes, oh my gosh, you're Ashkenazi, right? I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. It's a, it's a, it's a grasshopper. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. You see, my skin is a little dark. <laughs> <laughs> I said, really? He says, no, I'm just kidding. It's chocolate covered orange peel. <laughs> so, okay, so the gra but the grasshopper would be would have been shahako. And I guess he told me to say shahako on it because on orange peel, it's probably shahako anyway. On the orange peel. Yeah, or maybe because of the chocolate. So um, Rabbi Yehuda says, min No, if it's a curse, you don't say a blessing over it. And locust is a curse. How you'll have fun of Minim Harbe could be the vinegar and the noblest is also what the Gemara is referring to. As we see soon. If he has a bunch of things in front of him, Rabbi Huda Imer Mishkinim in Shiva, Rabbi Huda says that if you have one of the seven species that Israel is blessed with, so Allahumma Varech, that's what gets the bracha. You say the bracha on that. It was a big discussion, Tupishvat, what bracha you say first. 
to what you say the Eitz. I'm saying Mavarech Aleis and Mamshi Yitzchak Shem to say whatever one you want. Say the bracha on any, any, um, whichever one you. Meaning that there's no you priority. desire, no priority. Tan Rabbanan. The rabbi taught in a bris old davar saying gedulim and aritz on something that doesn't grow from the ground. Could go and give an example. Basi behema, meat, chayes, or meat from a wild animal, or from deer. Vaifas or uh, birds, chicken, the dogim, and fish. Aimer on these you say shakol nevid bari. Okay. Al cholav al beitzim al agvina milk egg and cheese. Aimer shakol you say shakol. Al pasha if on moldy bread, this is bread, but it went sour, it went bad. Al ayayin sheikrim and wine that's slightly fermented. I don't know if that means it's starting to turn into vinegar. I think that's what it means. Balatav shel shavitzurasay, and a spoiled dish. Aimer shahakol, you say shahakol. Al melech balazamis, on salt and on brine. We learned that before once. Al kmein and pitchyos, and on truffles or mushrooms. Aimer shahakol, you say shahakol. The Gemara says right away. Lamei mit kmein and pitchyos, lav gedulik karkim and nino. You're saying that truffles and mushrooms don't grow from the ground. Well, Tanya, but it's not in a brisa. I need to meet Peter Saretz. If someone takes a, a vow that he's not going to have benefits from fruits of the earth, also prepare Saretz and look at the queen of the pitcher. Yes, he's allowed to eat, that, uh, he's, uh, he's forbidden to eat vegetables, but he can eat truffles and mushrooms. The mama, Kogaduli Karkalai, but if he says all growth, all, all anything that grows from the ground is not just fruits, but anything that grows from the ground. It's forbidden to me. He can't have uh, mushrooms and uh, and truffles. So you see, it grows from the ground. You, he said in the Mishnah, and mushrooms grow from the ground. Yes, they get taller and grow from the ground, but but they don't get their nourishment from the ground. Aha. Uh -huh. So this is like a trick. But the problem is, but you said only things that don't grow from the ground. You didn't say that get its nourishment from the ground. So to me, if you could teach it, I'll never say Yenik Minaris. Adjust the Mishnah. It doesn't mean grow from the ground. It means what gets its nourishment from the ground. Yes. The Hema Basar gets nourishment from the ground. It's a discussion, an interesting discussion in the Sakhta Shabbos and in Sukkah. If you consider animals growing from the ground, it's a discussion about using skin for schach um, because it, if it grows from the ground it's good for schach and it's a discussion also in Shabbos um, regarding cheese and certain malachas are only things that grow from the ground and uh, we say animals if eating from the ground is considered growing from the ground that's a discussion that's a remove it's like one thing it is one thing it is Right. You know, we keep on saying it was growing from the ground, and by definition, that would exclude a mushroom. Because it it's just from, sitting, it could be right. on a stone, it could be on a tree. It grows up from the ground. It no. just sits on the ground. Right. It, it sits on the ground. It, it's, a, it's like the wild um, card. And, and this, uh, we ask people, we're testing them uh, on the conversion. So, what bracha do you say on this? Like, what about mushrooms? Do we have a, they say, what about mushrooms? They say, usually they say, Adam, they say, no, mushroom is different. So, <laughs> mushrooms is shahakal. So, um, we always afterwards, we say, mushrooms is, is the fun guy. <laughs> okay. Well, a nice way is... Most mushrooms be make someone into a fungi. I hear. Well, a nice way is... Nice way is we said we're spoiled dates. So my nice way is... What a nice way is. Rabzeir of Rabbi Lai. It's a difference of opinion between Rabzeir and Rabbi Lai. Chad, I'm a bishuli camera. One says it's burnt by the sun. It's dates that are... Burnt by the sun. Oh. It means like they're they're ruined. The chadam or tamid dezika. One says it's dates that the wind blew them off. Tanana was taught in the Mishnah. Rabbi Yudai Mekoshim in Kolale in Mevarkamala. He says that you don't say a bracha on anything that's a curse, and that's a continuation of the locust and the noiflus. 
which we just said was these type of dates. Officially, Mlamandam Bishuli Kamnik, you see it's burnt by the sun, and the Karlim in Klala. We understand why it's a curse. Because the crops didn't uh, ripen properly. El Mandamitami de Zika, but if you say that the wind blew it off, Maimin Klala, that's not a curse. The wind blew it off the tree. It's a, it's a fine date, the wind blew it off. Ashira. My answer is the curse that Rabbi Yehuda was talking about wasn't like what he was talking about the locust and the vinegar, the wine spoiled. That's the curse. It was he, he mentioned we had those things. We really mentioned that if it's a curse, you don't uh, say a bracha. But Nebus wasn't included according to this opinion. What about you making raisins? Right. So there's sun-dried raisins. That's what you meant. Yeah. So according to this, you wouldn't do that. No, yeah. I'm not sure. This could have to do with the ripe, with the ripening of it. That was ripe, la- ripe grapes that you dry them. Then the sun. Yeah. Oh. 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 There's those that say this different. Fish bishuli kamra. Uh, it's good according to the one that says that it's it's burnt by the sun. And the work on Elias Shahakal. That's why we say Shahakal. Almanda, my time is equal Shahakal. But according to the one that says that the wind blew it off, Shahakal, Barry creates me by a little roof. You should say Barry creates. Ella Benayvle, Stama, Kuliamale, Pligi, the Bishuli Kamran. And when it just says the word Stama without any modifying uh, adjective, then that's all it is is burnt by the sun. He Pligi. There is a machlekes between Rabbi Zayin and Rabbi Lai, the noivlis tamara. If it's noivlis, which has a modifying word, it's, which says noivlis, dates noivlis. It's non. So in the Mishnah, hakalim shir demai, we have some lenient things regarding demai. Demai is where you get produce from an amaritz that he's not trusted in, that he took his miser. So there's certain, you, you have to take miser off it just in case. So um, there are certain things that you can be lenient with if they're very cheap things. You'd be lenient to say, oh, the, you probably gave Meister anyway, because it's not a, a high quality product anyway. These are Hashisin, Varimin, Vosradin, Bnei Suach, Bnei Shikma, Gufnin, Nitzpah, Bnei Vos Tamara. Bnei Vos Tamara is one of them. I'm just going to go through what these are. It goes like the Shitin. What is Shitin? I'm a Rav Hanam Rav Yechim Minteinim. It's a type of a a fig. Rimin is candy. I looked this up actually. It said it was a lot, like a, a lotus, which is a ju- juju. Which I, I, I No. Juju is a type of uh, berry. I've, I've seen it on uh, these health food products. Ju- juju. Juju tree. So Uz, Uzradin. It's apparently it's a low quality. What is that? Candy. Candy called juju. Oh, so it's probably made from the, this fruit. It's, it, over here, it's a low quality uh, fruit. Those radin is toshi, is crab apples, at least according to one translation. Benay suach, amarav v'chanam rabbi yechanan, teini chavart, it's these white figs. Benay shikma, something from a sycamore tree. Amarav v'chanam rabbi yechanan, dubli. Yeah, it's some fruit from a sycamore tree. Gufnin. Chili gufni. What are gufnin? It's the end of the season dates. A uh, uh, grapes. Nitzva. Oh, this is parcha. That's capers. That we had before once. Mm-hmm. Neiblis tamara. What are neiblis tamara? So this is where we had the machleik. Once it says it's burnt dates by the sun, and another one says that it was the wind blew it off. According to the one that says it's burnt by the sun, we it makes sense. I know the tani that's why it says that this is lenient. They're not good. But um who the potter. If it's you don't know if he took Miser, then you're exempt. But if he definitely did not take Miser, then you have to take Miser from them. Alamanda Matami Dzika, but the one that says that the wind blew it off, you find it on the ground, Hefker. Vaday Chay If he if he did definitely did not take Miser, you have to take Miser. Hefker in it, it's Hefker. And we have a rule that Hefker, you don't have to take Meiser off things that are Hefker. Even if it's Hefker, even if it's ownerless, but if you take all the ownerless things and you pile it up and you turn it into like a storage, a new collection of, of things, you're going to be Chayv and Meiser. These are things that the poor person collects. He should not have to take Meiser off them. 
but if he turns them into a big pile in his house, uh, uh, he makes them into a uh, like his own little granary of things that he collected. So then, hukbal amaisa the chayav and maisa. Ikadami there doesn't say bishlam alaman there mitam gizika. Dates that the wind blew up. I know the hacha karli noivles tam of asam karli tamra. That's why we have a difference over here. We call noivles without any modifier, and over there we say it's it's noivles tamra. Alaman the bishul bishulei tamra, but according to the one that says that it's burnt by the sun, in what's in our Mishnah it says noivles. It's also burnt by the sun. So nisni idividim noivles tamra idividim noivles tamra. So then, why are you changing the way you refer to it? Say it, be consistent with the way this is called. So the Gemara says kasha. It's a question on why it's not consistent with the way we call this. Let's say he has in front of him a lot of species. So we said he says on the Shiva Saminim, and that's the opinion of Rabbi Yisha. And the Chum say whichever one he wants. Amar Ula. Ula says, Machlaikis, in the Mishnah, Bishabrich is same Shabbos. That's if the blessings are the same bracha. So, for example, he has olives and he has apples. Which one should he say the bracha over? The Rabbi Yehuda Savar Min Shiva Adar. Yehuda says that the bracha is on the, the olives, what comes from the land of Israel. Rabbanan Savar Min Chavav Adar. It's what he likes better. So, should have said jackfruit. The, uh, to choose between an olive and a jackfruit, and that may be something more special to him. And maybe he'll say the bracha over that, according to the Chacham, is Mem Shiyotza. Aval, B'Shem B'Chasim Shabbos. But if you don't have, if the two species are not the same bracha, Zivrei Hakol Mevarech Alzeh, V'Chesim Mevarech Alzeh. Everyone says, that one bracha doesn't cover them. And you have to say a bracha on each, which means that even if you say a dhamma on, on one of them, you don't have this, it's not the same bracha. So let's say you have an olive and a radish or something. So even if you say the hadama on the radish, it doesn't cover the olive, even though if you would have said the bracha on the olive, Adama, you would have been Yaitse. But you didn't say the Adama on the olive. You said the Adama on the radish. Follow? So then it's not going to, it doesn't cover the other one. Yeah, but it, you're not supposed to have it all in mind. You're actually supposed to say the Ha'ets first. And that, that way you never, you never have this issue. Because you always say the more specific one first instead of the more general one. The more general. It's not like making multiple Adamas on different. Right, right. That's what we're saying now. If it, the brachas are not the same, even though one of them is more general than the other one and it could have covered it, but you didn't have that in mind specifically to do that, so that doesn't work. So uh, you have to say independent brachas. You have a question over here. Look at this price. If there's a radish and an olive, you say the bracha on the radish, and you don't have to say a bracha on the olive. Wow. Isn't that interesting? Gumari answers, look at this. It's not a bra it's not a din in 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 uh, in Hadama and Haitz. This was a story where he ate a sharp radish. And to get rid of the sharp taste of the radish, he ate an olive. But the the olive was just like a, a spice, a condiment to the radish. It's ikar and tuffle. Even if it's a shiva minin, Even a could be a tuffle. Even sometimes uh what was it? They had even a Shiloh with, the her with herring and a cracker. Sometimes mm. there's, just, there's a discussion oh, yeah, about right. that. What, the, what do you say a bracha at all? If you say, well, you'd say the bracha on the herring, but um, yeah, okay, whatever. There, there's, a, there's discussions about that. So here, if the tsunayin is the main thing, if the radish is the main thing, it's going to exempt the olive. If that's the case, aim a safer. One second. I hear what the, the way that you're describing this this price, but look at what it says in the end. Rabbi Yudai Mevarech al Azayis. Yudai says, you have to say the bracha on the olive. Azayis min shiva, because the olive is from one of the seven species. The Gemara asks, 
Chilas leil Rabbi Yehuda, does Rabbi Yehuda not hold that if you have a main thing and a secondary food, say the bracha on the main food and exempts the secondary, the chitim machinami, the less leil. If you say yes, the taka doesn't hold of that. But Tanya, but of sudden, Rabbi Yehuda, 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 then you only say the bracha on the radish. So what does he say in that that brisa? He argues. He says you have to say the bracha on the olive. It must be it's not a din in nicker and tafel, primary and secondary. Leilam it's nay nicker askinim. Gemara says no, really, it is primary and secondary. That's what we're discussing. Why does Rabbi Yehuda argue? The chip ligi Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbanan, Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbanan, they're arguing about something else. The most achritik ligi v'chaseri mechsa. We have to add words into the brisa to make it fit. But he wasn't really arguing about this. This is how it goes. Let's say he has an olive and a radish. He says the brach on the radish and he exempts the olive. When would that work? That's because the radish was the main thing that he was eating. The olive was just to wash it down. But if the radish isn't the main thing, everyone agrees that you say a brach on this, and then you say a brach on that. This is what we add in. If there is two other species, that have the same bracha, an olive and an apple, let's say, you can say the bracha on anyone. This is where Rabbi Huda argues. Not by the radish and an olive, that you say the bracha on the olive, even though the radish is primary. No. He's talking about when you have a new case. You have two things. You have a you have a uh, an apple and an olive, and you want to know which one you should say the bracha over. So it says Rabbi Yudah says you say the bracha over the olive. Okay, because it's uh, that's special. It gets um, it gets um, precedent. Ligiba Rabami Rabbi Yitzchak Nafka. It's a machlokes between Rabami and Rabbi Yitzchak Nafka. Chada ma machlokes shiber chesem shavis. That the machlokes is when they have the same bracha. That's the way we were learning it now. Rabbi Yudah Savar Min Sheva Adar, Rabbanan Sabi Min Chavav Adar. Rabbi Yudah holds that the Eretz Yisrael, the fruits that Eretz Yisrael is blessed with, has precedence. And the Rabbanan say it's whichever one you like that has precedence. Avol B'Sheim Berch Hashem Shavis. But if they don't have the same blessings, Dibri Akol, everyone agrees. Mavar Chalzeh, Vachaisu Mavar Chalzeh. You have to say a bracha on each one independently. V'chadam, the other opinion here, either it's Rabbi Yitzchak, he says, is also if they don't have the same um, blessing. Do you say the bracha on each? How is this going to work? The Gemara is going to explain. If they have the same blessing, that's an argument. Shaper, we understand why. What's, what has precedence? Eretz Yisrael, or the one that you like the most? Elamanda, Meshem Bechashem Shavais, but according to the one that says that the Machlaikis between Rabbi Yehud and the, and the Chachamim is when the blessings are not equal. So, Pligi, the my Pligi, what could the Machlaikis be? I'm Rabbi Yirmiya Lahakdim. Rabbi Yirmiya says, which one goes first? But you say the Bracha. On the fruits of Eretz Yisrael, and you say the bracha say the bracha and according to the order of the as they're listed in the Pasuk. We're talking about Hadama. Probably now it's switching from the Zainus versus Haid. Let's see, Dhamma Rabbi Yosef. Rabbi Yosef says, Vitema, and some say Rabbi Yitzchak. Some say it's Rabbi Yitzchak. Kol hamuktim be pasuk, zeh muktim le bracha. Anything that comes first in the pasuk of Eretz Chita Saira, that's what gets the bracha first. Shenemar, it says in the pasuk. Eretz Chita Saira, a land of wheat and barley, gefen tein arimai, grape, fig, and pomegranate. Eretz Yishemin Advash, a land of olive oil and, and honey. 
So if you have a sa'ir and you have a wine, you say you have a sa'ir first? Well, the wine is different. But sa'ira versus grapes, yeah, uh, you say that on the sa'ira first. Mazinus is always going to come first. But this is why we call it kala, so we don't have one of the shayla. Right. Right. And this argues on Rab Khanan. Dom Rab Khanan, listen to this. This is a famous Gemara. It's in other places. Sukkah in other places. Kala Pasuk Kula, Lashirim Namar. This entire Pasuk is teaching me interesting halakhas, measurements. So, for example, when it says in the Pasuk Chita, it's the Tanan, it's coming to teach me the following mission. Anichlas, the base of someone enters into a house of leprosy. It means the house has a spot of leprosy on it. The Caleb al and he has his clothing on his shoulder. And he's carrying. And he has his uh, sandals and his rings holding in his hand. Everything becomes tummy on the spot. Let's say he's dressed. He's wearing the clothing. And he has his rings on his finger and his sandals on his feet. Whoa. Yeah, we'll say, uh, it would say uh, probably why he got thrown. So, who <laughs> tummy miyad? He becomes tummy right away. The hint tahirin, but the clothing stays tahar. Ach yishe bechdechil espras until he waits there. The amount of time it takes to eat a half a loaf of bread. And the reason how we know this is because it says bahaichal babayas yitma. So when that eats in the house is tummy. It says really he has to eat in the house. No, he has to be in the house the amount of time that it takes to eat. How much eating? A half a loaf of bread. What type of bread? Depends. Half a loaf of bread from those uh, health breads. It would take you a week. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> so, um, it means wheat bread, and not barley bread. Mesif, he's reclining, and he's eating it together with a dip. And uh, that amount of time would be as if he stays at that amount of time, that's, that's when his clothing that he's Wearing will become tummy. He becomes tummy right away. So, Ira, what about the barley? The tanan etzim kasayim metamid magav masa. Small amount of a bone, size of a barley, that will give off tumma by touching and by carrying venom and tamayil, but it's not large enough to give off tumma in a tent. For that, you need a full aver, a full limb. Gefen, what about the grapes? Kadei revias yain le nazar. This is interesting because if a nazar eats grape products, and he needs to eat the amount of a revius, which is the water displacement of those grape products, the, the skins of the pits or the, the peels or of the grapes. So you put it into wine and you have a water displacement from that uh, wine displacement. That would be the amount of a revius. It says, well, why do you have to use wine to do the water displacement? Use water just because it's a different um, meniscus over wine than it would be over, over water. Uh, Taina. The figs, kegregers, like says Shabbos. The size of a fig for carrying on Shabbos, that's the amount that would make a person liable. A person carries just like one tiny seed of a sunflower or something, that's not enough. It needs to be a, a, something uh, uh, important. Remind a pomegranate to the Tanakh called Baladatim, Shunkarimine. What happens is if you have a vessel that's tame and you want it to, and you break it to become tar. Uh, so, at what point is it considered broken if it can't hold pomegranates? That's the size. Eretz Shemen, a land of, of olive oil or olives. Amar Rabbi Yisrael Baruch Hu, Eretz Shekol Shirekazesim, a land that all the halachas of this land are olives. The Gemara says, Kol Shirekaz Al Kadaita, you just, all the measurements of this land, you just dropped, Vahayika Hanachta Amar, and you just said a whole bunch, Chita Sayer Gef, and you have a whole bunch of other measurements. So it says, Eretz Shirekaz Shirekazesim. Most of the halachas of this land is Kazayas. How much matzah, uh, all of those things. Okay, Devash, what is, about the is, honey? Is the Torah, is the Torah basically, is the Pasuk here going to enlarge the small? No, it's not volume. No, it's not. No, it's just giving us different halachas of each one of these measurements. Devash, the, the honey or the date, that's the amount if a person eats it on Yom Kippur. The Edach, what does the other opinion do? We said that we're using this Pasuk to tell me an order of brachas. 
does it say the measurements in the Pasuk? Tell him Midrabanan. All the measurements are Midrabanan. Maybe Halakha Mesh Messina is supposed to say. Ukras Bakhti Baalno. The Pasuk is just giving you a way to remember it. So let me finish till the two dots. Rav Chizd of Rav Amnuna. Rav Chizd and Rav Amnuna have a Yasi Bisudasa. They were sitting at a meal. I said, like, Tamri Brimaini. They bring pomegranates and dates. Shakal Rav Amnuna, Varachat Tamri. Rav Amnuna reaches out, says the bracha on the dates. Horatio first. Amalai Rav Chizda, Rav Chizda says, Le Sri Lan Mar, Le Mar, Lahad Amar Rav Yosef, Vitem Rav Yitzchak, Kalamukhtim, the Pasuk, Zah, Kaidam, the Bracha. The dates is the last thing in the Pasuk. Eretz Yisham Nudvash. It's the last thing. You skip the pomegranate. That's much earlier in the Pasuk. Amalai, Zah Sheni Laretz, Zah Chamishi Laretz. It says Eretz twice. This is second to the second Eretz. That's fifth from the first Eretz. Even though this is seventh, but it's second to the second to the second counting. On Malay, he says, How do they translate that? Who will give me feet of iron? Steel. Of steel. Steel. They didn't have steel. <laughs> <laughs> of iron. And I will. Um, uh, go and listen to you all, all the time. He was very impressed with what he said. Okay, I'll leave it there. Wow. Welcome back, Moshe Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.